So for the secondary light, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose something really bright, really, really bright. Might look a little weird at first. You know, I, I picked more of a yellowish tone because I want it to be uh, more of a warmer tone. It might look a little weird at first, but when you see the overall, when we're when we're done, it's going to look great. So the idea behind this is that this is secondary tone coming from this direction. Okay, and it's going to hit a whole bunch of this character right here. And you know, sometimes I even like to just draw that arrow right in there. And even more, sometimes I like to draw it with a bit of perspective. So why don't we just do that? And uh, this can be this constant little reminder to us of where the light is coming from and where it will it'll fall. Okay. And again, I'm doing this on a separate layer. I'm trying to keep everything separated. Um, it just makes things so much easier that way. You know, when you start doing the secondary uh, light, it really helps you, forces you to think about the form even more uh, from from a different perspective. Okay, so there we go. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so now you're starting to see this secondary light come together. And it's really hitting that the other side of the, the head quite nicely now. Okay, what's going to happen to these fins over here? Well, let's splash a little bit of that lighting right onto that tip of that fin right there. And here as well here as well. This is just, you know, very quick and dirty. It's getting that idea across as quick as you can so that you can show it to a director. Now some people might ask, what's the difference between an animated, um, a concept for animation and a concept for live action? Well really it's for live action, you, you want to think of functionality much, much more. You know, everything has to make sense um, from every level, generally. You want to have something that people can understand very, very clearly. Um, with animated films, which I've also done, uh, you can get away with a lot more things. Um, and you tend to simplify your designs a lot more as well. Or perhaps not simplify, but you would make them more stylized, anyhow. Okay, and that stylization uh, lends itself to animated, you know, CG animated films very nicely. Or 2D films. Okay, so there's a little bit of lighting. Let's create a little bit more lighting. So the light is going to get through. It's going to travel just underneath that chin right there, and it's going to hit the other side of this pole. And this is where you can add in some little marks, if you like, as to what kind of a pole is this, and what kind of texture is on this pole. Okay. Bring up the fingers a bit. Okay, and down over here. The 
the most important thing I want to show you is how finished this stuff needs to be in order for it to uh, come across as a very um, understandable concept that we that the director can use for for his or her film you know so some parts might be a little bit blurrier than others or a little bit less um, less less flushed out than others and that's only because those are parts that don't need to be as flushed out you know for example uh, the vest right now that's definitely not flushed out because the most important parts are well for me anyways this is thinking that the vest is a quite it's quite a simple thing the more important parts is what kind of uh, textures are on these these the skin of the creature of the the scales and all that stuff and uh, yeah those are the much more important parts for me okay I want it to look three-dimensional that's another super important part and and there now it's really starting to look really three-dimensional even though when you look close at it you might say oh well this part looks uh, actually quite sketchy still when you look far far away at it you look at it and you'll go oh okay that that looks cool that makes sense you know that that looks like this flushed out character when you look into a smaller window that's definitely what you should be uh, seeing right now so it looks very 3d and starting to look you know, very, very understandable. If I've done that, then I've completed my job. You know, for us, the the character designers is super important for your stuff to get across a very understandable idea. It's not as necessary for it to be completely, completely fleshed out. Of course, a lot of times. If it is fleshed out, then that's even better. Okay. So mine is kind of like in between, I would say. This isn't like a fully, fully, uh, super fleshed out painting like I, I usually would do for, you know, an illustration job, uh, for example. But for me, uh, this is what I do for concepts. You, know, you want to get them out quick, right, and effectively. Okay, so now that's looking good. Let's go on to. Oops. Let's just go on to the top of the fish right here. I just forgot the fish for a second. The fish need to also get a little bit of this. So the arrow's coming down. It's hitting just a little bit of the fish but still important okay so those are all coming together very nicely um, at this point might be a good idea to just add in some little fins here these are all little see-through fins And then afterwards, I could do this, put a little bit of detail in there. 